My brother and I are the founders of M13, currently investing out of our new $185 million fund. We primarily focus on uh, seed and uh, series A. Our focus is really um, consumer technology. And so we want to understand what consumers are going to be doing 10 years from now. Uh, the thesis is that technology is kind of disintermediating and changing consumer behavior faster than ever. And we want to understand what consumers are going to be doing when it comes to how they live, how they eat, how they pay, uh, how they move around and, and things like that. The uniqueness of our model is we have something called our propulsion platform, uh, which is a tech enabled platform of frameworks, repeatable behaviors, resources uh, that we think all entrepreneurs need so they don't have to recreate the wheel. One thing that we keep encouraging, and we've done a lot of SWOT analysis, a lot of work with our propulsion team is, um, is everyone needs to keep focused on the opportunities, right? And so uh, I think it's naive to think there won't be challenges, there won't be roadblocks, uh, but where there are threats, there are also opportunities. There's some companies that are going to have to face some headwinds. They're going to have to think about their P&Ls. They're going to have to think about the business, their business models with so many unknowns. The biggest unknown is time of uh, behavior going back to normalcy and what the new normal is. Um, but on the flip side, there's a ton of opportunity out there, right? We have companies like Capsule and Daily Harvest that are benefiting from the tailwinds and providing kind of essential products, whether it's uh, prescription drugs or, or food um, to consumers. And so I've just been encouraging entrepreneurs, both within our portfolio and the broader is that to do that SWOT analysis. And again, look for those opportunities because they exist. We uh, are going to continue to invest because we know you have to invest through cycles. I think the behaviors you see from people like us are going to be very different than the behaviors you see from smaller funds, uh, what I call kind of tourist investors, investors who are kind of dabbling in the asset class. I think you'll see a stronger pullback from there. Um, but I think anyone who's been through the cycles realizes there will be a lot of great companies that come out of this.